Will the stock market crash again? Here are three reasons why it's likely we'll see lower lows. Reason number one, the current projections for the federal fund rate. Unfortunately, we're not getting the economic data we need to support a Fed pivot. This means that the Federal Reserve is likely to continue to raise rates and keep their foot on the brakes on the economy. This week, we got job data that was hotter than expected, and the market dropped near 3% off of that news. You'd think that lower unemployment and more jobs would be good for the stock market. But in this environment, good news is actually bad news because priority number one for the Federal Reserve is to bring down inflation. And a stubborn jobs market allows the Federal Reserve to continue to raise rates. And that's why the market sold off following the jobs report. Reason number two is the crude oil price target by OPEC and the impacts that has on inflation. OPEC Plus announced a 2 million barrels per day cut in oil production. And based off of that news, reports are saying that OPEC wants to see oil above 90 to $100. That's the price floor. And crude oil futures are bouncing off of this news, coming off of their lows at around $82 and with strong momentum. Higher oil and gas prices makes it much harder for the Federal Reserve to hit their 2% inflation target. And this is a reason why they might continue to raise rates for longer than expected. Reason number three are the technicals and the current market valuation. Technicals clearly point to lower highs and lower lows, a market that's in a downtrend. This market is trading in a downward channel with downward sloping major moving averages. We recently set a lower low and we can continue to do so with this downtrend. Typical recessions see a 30% or more drawdown in the stock market. We are currently at around 23%. The next support in the overall market is at $3,400 on the S&P 500. This goes back to the pre-pandemic levels. Lots of stocks are currently below their pre-pandemic level. So it makes sense that the overall market would reach test that level. In addition, the current market price to earnings multiple is at 18. This multiple on average during a recession can drop below 15 and the lower end is at 13. This would also justify lower lows from a valuation perspective. All in all, it comes down to multiple factors that support a continuation of a hawkish Fed. That goes against the theory that the Fed is likely to pivot soon. And the continuation of rising rates and keeping them high will likely lead to a recession. And that will have major impacts to earnings. But in my opinion, we are closer to the bottom than we are to the top. But there's still more downside to be seen. This market is great for trading. And if you want to profit off of the volatility, join the Patreon for live trade alerts. In the last two months, we have seen over 10 trades that have been multi-baggers. Here's an example of two trades this month that were nearly 10x returns. A link is provided in the bio. And follow this channel for some more stock content.